Okay, so I have arrived at Dunsebierge, and as you can see, it is no longer under siege. And now I believe what has actually transpired here is the particular vassal that wanted to siege it has run off in the northerly direction along here, perhaps along the coast towards his own territory. I think it may actually be quite a good idea if we were to head to Dunabert right now, and potentially try to take that. We will see how many are garrisoned there, of course, because you never know if they have gone overboard with their defenses. And if they have, then we will be in a very sorry state indeed. So let's just take a look really fast and hope that we can actually get down over there before we lose all of our morale, at least, because as you can see, we are currently losing one morale every few seconds. Oh no, and the Gwisse and the Dalriata have now formed an alliance. That is never a good sign when your enemies conspire against you. Never good. Okay, so, oh my, okay, they have a very small force indeed. They have a lot of prisoners. This makes it a very tempting target. That is for sure. So let's go in, attempt to take it, and maybe we can even attempt to call for a meeting with the commander once again and we will avoid losing any of our troops in the siege itself. That might be a good idea, unless, yes, Dincardo was under siege by the Ceredigian and again it is one of those fiefs that are on Britannia, so I was not able to make it there in time, or at least it would be very difficult to defend against any particular attacks, which is always a bad thing, and oh, we're only losing 3.3k per week now, which is not too bad, because I know a while ago we were losing, or should I say hemorrhaging money, and we were losing about 10,000 per week, and thankfully I was able to get enough war trophies and so on and so forth to be able to keep our money up in that situation, but now that we have started gaining quite a lot of strongholds, they are paying for themselves, or at least I hope so. So now we have this real-time event. Some of your men have abducted women from the surrounding villages and brought them to the siege camp for fun. Oh no! Oh my goodness, well, abducted, that's never a good thing. Order your men to release the women and punish them? I have no idea, because this is a pretty bad thing to do. Okay, so we gain reputation, but we lose morale. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted, but I suppose gaining the reputation is not all bad, I suppose. And then we lose it again, of course, because we didn't release that fellow. And here comes a few Dauriata vassals. Let's see what they're going to do. Let's call for a meeting with the castle commander and see whether they are going to... Ah. Okay, so they'll never abandon it by the looks of things. Oh, that's always a shame when they say that. <laughs> okay, so let's wait until tomorrow then and see whether these particular fellows decide to go in here. And that is a bad thing, losing all of those units due to morale. Maybe I should have kept the women. Uh, no, I just didn't want to be villainous, as it were. Oh my goodness, here we go. We are now being beset upon by a rather large force. So let's actually try for a duel. Ah, there seems to be no one willing to duel. Okay. Okay, so we have 524. They have 516. This should be a very momentous battle. Uh, at least I hope so. Because they have a rather large force, I'm hoping that they may even attempt to attack us, or at least take the offensive role for once, because usually I am the one to come to them. So we'll soon see what actually transpires here. Ooh, ooh. They may actually be moving towards us, which is a very, very big change indeed. I like that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so come on, guys. Oh, I'm hoping that our units are going to be a little faster to actually get up here. Hmm. Okay, well, the only thing I can do, I suppose, is act as a target for now and get them to stop in their tracks. 
so that we have the upper ground until our infantry get here, and then we will be able to punish them rather severely. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, let's go. Charge in, everyone. Not you, cavalry. You're going to get in there and die almost immediately, I would imagine, at least. So let's get him back over there, at least for now. And now we will charge in. Let's do it. Come on. Here we go. Let's get a kill. Yes, thank you very much, Barney. Okay. Any more? Yes, there we are. There's one. And here is the leader. I believe I took him off his horse, thankfully. And now my horse is going to go down. But I don't believe that it has sustained any lasting injuries, thankfully. So now we will be an infantry fighter for the rest of this round. Let's do it. Come on. Oh, this seems to be the leader of the faction. Perhaps. He seems to be quite hardy when he comes to... Oh my goodness. When he comes to actually fight, that is. And it seems as though they are attempting to retreat, which we will not allow to happen. Let's do it. Come on. Yeah, that's what you get. Yes. Okay, they're getting reinforcements now. Have to be a little more cautious, just in case they decide to swamp us. You never know what the AI may be thinking. Although their leader over there is being very cautious of us, that's for sure. I suppose when we hit him for that amount of damage, he was rather taken aback. And I was actually rather worried myself because he did I believe 23 damage to us and that was with an overhead attack so obviously we need to get a better helm at some point although I have attempted to find better armor and it doesn't seem to be available or at least I have not been lucky enough to find it and it seems as though all of these units are exceptionally good at running away as you can see they have a very high athletic skill it seems, anyway. Oh my goodness. Come on. Let's go, guys. Oh, no. They're going to escape, aren't they? Yes, they are. How close are they to the end of the map? Not very close at all. Oh, that is terrible as well, because then I have to run all the way after them. Oh, no. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Instead of Obviously, you having to watch this as well. Oh, never mind. Okay, it seems as though they don't actually need to get to the edge of the map to retreat. Okay, well, that's not too bad then. And it seems as though I don't have to cut away, so thank goodness for that. Oh, yes, there we are. Okay, so we lost very little indeed. We gained 11 morale, which is sorely needed. 24 renown was our reward as well. Okay, so it seems as though they have lost a rather sizable amount of their troops, although it did not seem that they actually committed too many high-level troops. So I'm a little skeptical about what they're going to pull out of the bag in this particular bout. We will soon see, though. Let's move our units forward, and we will see where this ends up. Okay, so I have been taking cover behind this rock from their initial bombardments from their missile units And now we have our units ready to charge in as you can see they are all in a very Uniform line and we will be charging in and showing them our might. Let us do it. Go everyone Not you cavalry <laughs> Yes, we do not want those guys to run in and die immediately So I will keep them back for just a few moments longer and now we will charge in it seems as though I have one cavalry currently assigned to infantry. I believe that is Altan and Okay It seems as though they are exceedingly good at taking down horses with their javelins that is rather vicious I must admit but I suppose it did almost get me killed, and Aethne has leveled up to 13, which is always a good thing to see. So let's actually take a look. Who is that infantryman that is currently mounted? I believe that is Altan, and I have not changed his tag, which is pretty terrible on my part. There we are. Take those fellows down. Take this guy down as well, if possible. Uh, it seems he's been taken off his mount, whoever it was. I'm 
I'm not able to ascertain who it was, unfortunately, but hopefully after this I will take a look at our companions and we'll see what's going down with that, because I believe Aethne is primarily without a horse, so I don't really have to worry about that. I believe it probably is Altan. And it seems there's only one enemy remaining, and he has escaped. Once again, they are deciding to rout instead of fight to the bitter end, which is probably a good idea for them, but not so good for my timer, as it is. <laughs> so, again, we have 64 units of the enemy currently waiting for us to advance upon them. The only unfortunate thing is they will continue to stay there. So, I will see you soon. Okay, so as you can see, we are now ready to charge in with our very few units. Oh, wait a minute, what am I saying? As you can see, we have a very small amount of units here, but wait! Take a look at this. Oh yes, my units stretch all the way down this hill and across a few more hills. As you can probably tell, they are numerous in number, and as you can see on the map as well, that is a very straight line. So. We will now be attempting a rather hilarious charge, I must admit. So, let's do it. Go, guys. Let's see how they all go. Okay, there are a few delays there, but I suppose that will be just the way it's going to be. Now, let's charge in our cavalry as well. They were a little bit behind, as I did not want them to be completely taken out that fast. And it seems as though we're doing quite a good job in taking out their... Infantry, or should I say lit skirmishers as well? So that's not too bad. And now we will hopefully be able to take out a few of their stragglers as well. Let's do it. Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes. And another. Oh, no, no. And another. Please, sir, may I have another? Yes, thank you very much. And any others around here? There's quite a few, but because of my ineptitude. I don't believe we will actually be very lucky in finishing them off. Or maybe not. No, we're getting quite a few kills thanks to this amazing sword. If I had a sword that did less damage than this, then I don't think I would have too much luck. And do you see the huge wave of red units coming over the horizon? Oh yes. That is rather spectacular. Not as spectacular, of course, as other particular games, but I think Mountain Blade does it quite well. There we are. Take down this fellow. Yes, there we are. And they continue to use the war horn. I believe that is the retreating sound for their forces. But fortunately, it does not seem to be working all that well for them. And it seems as though they are spawning upon us and taking out quite a few of our units, unfortunately. But I suppose that is the cost of war, as it is. So, let's see what we can do when we arrive back here with the majority of our forces. Yes, there we are. And it seems as though quite a few of their cavalry are trying to retreat. How dare you? Or maybe they are kiting us. That could be the reason for this particular maneuver. Yes, it seems they were attempting to kite us and use their javelins against us to do damage. But they hopefully failed that in more ways than one. Yes, I blocked that. How dare you? What are you going to do now? You're going to throw another javelin and do no damage, of course. Oh yes, that's the way I like to see it. Oh yeah, take that guy down. At least his horse... And then take down one of the medium infantry as well. Not too bad, although I would have preferred a few more kills, to be honest. Barney has not leveled up in quite some time. And, yes, it would be nice to see what he could then spec into. Okay, they only have 93 units remaining, and we will be taking them down. So, let's charge in and see what they are going to do. It seems as though a few of their cavalry have moved out of formation, but it seems as though that is all they were going to do. So, once again, I will see you soon. Okay, here we go, and we are now ready to charge in once again for the final time against these Dalriata vassals. Hopefully they will then learn that they will not trifle with the likes of Emain Matcha. 
for very much longer because we are going to be vanquishing them from the game very shortly, or at least I hope so. <laughs> you never know what could happen. It is Mountain Blade after all. And we can only hope that it will be a very swift and easy defeat for the Dariata because they have always been a rather tricky foe to pin down. As has been very common over the time that we actually took a leech because if you remember, once we had taken Dun Suburge, we had a lot of issues with Dariata vassals coming across the channel and coming across the ocean and attempting to actually pillage our villages a lot of the time. And I was furious at this revelation and I attempted to defeat a few of them and we still actually have a few of their vassals from that time in our custody or at least I hope we do otherwise we are currently being attacked by the same fellows that we took prisoner all that way back then and it seems as though that is actually the case because this guy is minus 16 so we will be taking him prisoner once again this is what you get for trifling with us and we will hopefully be able to take a lot of prisoners as you can see we just did oh yeah I like that a lot so now we can take quite a few pieces of loot and war trophies of course I always like those oh yes a lot of battle trophies as well not bad at all if I do say so myself and we are still actually sieging this but I think what will be happening now is I will end this episode off here it's been quite a long time for me at least and so I thank you for watching, and next time on Britain Water, we will finish up our siege of this, and maybe even take these two prisoner. You never know what could transpire in my off-screen time. So, I will see you next time.